What's good, Joshua Ross? Back at it again with another video. So, got to talk about what happened on uh, this episode of SmackDown. Shout out to everyone that was part of the live stream reaction. We always have a good time when you guys pop up for the live streams. So, we got to talk about really the main story that's been going on on SmackDown with John Cena and the Bloodline. So, you got Paul Heyman, Solo, and Jimmy come out to start the show. And pretty much... Paul Heyman is recapping what happened last week and how they took down uh, John Cena and also acknowledging Roman Reigns is still uh, the, the tribal chief, the head of the table. He's the number one guy, all this other stuff, the, the normal, usual stick that you would get with Paul Heyman. But this time, Jimmy starts acting a little bit different. Jimmy is starting to portray like he's the leader of the bloodline he even does the thing that roman reigns does when paul Heyman's talking when he puts his hand out to ask for the microphone or whatnot that's exactly what he did like roman would do sometimes with paul and paul would shut up and give him the microphone paul Heyman was looking at him like what and then he was like oh, i'm just playing with you I'm just playing with you paul and then he took the microphone from paul Heyman, and at that point he was pretty much talking his trash like you know what I'm saying? The reason why John Cena's not here right now, because he's scared. You know what I'm saying? He don't want no smoke with us or whatnot. He, he, he don't want no problems. We took care of John Cena last week. We took care of AJ Styles last week. You know, just really talking his trash like he's running things, which is very interesting. That's the route they're going. Jimmy's giving off the vibes like, yeah i run things now when roman reigns is not there so while jimmy is talking his big talk carl anderson comes out there and starts giving out the beats to jimmy and uh and solo he knocks them out the ring basically like yeah man nah, i i gotta run gotta run the fade for my homie aj styles man y'all 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 took him out y'all put him in the hospital now it's personal now in my opinion if you look at it from just a story standpoint, where was all this energy when your boy AJ Styles was getting jumped on by Jimmy and Solo the past couple of weeks? Now, all of a sudden, it's personal. You was telling AJ to not get into a bloodline business. And now, now, while he's laid up in the hospital bed, you want to do something. I found that quite interesting. So, as they're standing outside the ring, looking all upset and solo's about to go back in there but paul Heyman stops him you know he's jimmy's oh no solo looks at jimmy and jimmy uh well he tells jimmy hey either you handle this or i'ma handle this or whatnot and basically that's how they set up the impromptu match oh and let's not forget to mention how <laughs> for whatever reason jimmy's out out here always trying to get like a, a handshake or a dab with solo and solo always leaves him handing so he'll go for the handshake solo just looks at him and then looks back to whatever he's looking at leaving jimmy hanging and he has to always dab himself up he has to uh, and taps himself up i'm just like oh my god that's <laughs> so fucking funny so of course the match goes the way you expect it to go uh jimmy ends up cheating off the distraction by solo and jimmy gets the win and then afterwards carl anderson said nah i still want to run the fade with you guys so they he starts fighting but he ends up getting a, a samoan spike that he really didn't get all of it the the way the spike uh solo hit the samoan spike on him he really just kind of he he it looked like he damn near missed him he like hit like his shoulder he didn't even hit in the throat region it was like his shoulder it was a bad angle and uh he wasn't positioned right but nevertheless uh solo hit the samoan spike as they're leaving the ring he's trying to get uh <laughs> uh solo to dap him up jimmy and he still does not give this nigga dap bro so <laughs> jimmy continuously has to give himself the dap and shake his own hand mia young comes out there sees jimmy or whatever she you know jimmy laughing and then mia young proceeds to slap the dog piss out of uh jimmy and then walks up the ramp ramp to check on uh on our homie uh uh carl anderson so at this point john cena hasn't showed up yet they're they're 
making a big deal like oh he just landed he's gonna be appearing whatever whatever so at this point jimmy's upset after just being slapped so he starts beating up on random people in the back there's somebody on a headset with documents somebody with a clipboard he's just beating up on them or whatever pushing them against the wall solo pushing them against the wall and paul Heyman's like just don't do nothing it's like they just doing their jobs man they're getting assaulted then uh i forgot the guy name he uh he was uh part of hit row i think i don't know if they still have they have the group hit row i know it's just beef having him I forgot his name i know who i'm talking about but he's in the back and, uh, and not even catering it was like the uh a backstage area where they're setting up the, the the shirts and stuff to be sold he's back there and you just see him getting jumped on by jimmy like he's just on the ground getting jumped on officials are trying to break it up like i'm like yo he's just out here trying to get get some merch i don't know if he was trying to buy some the last remaining top dollar merch if he did have some merch i don't know if he was trying to buy some more merch for his homie that's not in the company but nevertheless he was getting beat up backstage in the merch area or <laughs> whatnot and then solo proceeds to pick him up throw him through a uh a, a, a merch table it's just Nothing but merchandise and shirts and, and boxes all over the guy. Just get thrown to the table. Nobody stopped him. Security was like, hey, don't do it. But he still did it. And it's like, yeah, if he wanted to team up with John Cena, he couldn't. I'm like, bro, what, what's what's happening here, bro? Why? They just went on a rampage backstage attacking random people that's going to team up with John Cena. I don't think he was teaming up with John Cena. So John Cena pulls up. In his new Mustang, all fast and the furious, like later on in the show, he drifts around the corner in the parking lot. He has the contract in his hand. He's very serious. He comes out there to the ring. He's serious. You know what I'm saying? He hypes up the crowd, you know, and he's basically like, man, you know what I'm saying? I did sign the contract. It is a two-on-one situation, but guess what? Hey, man, you see what's on my hat? You see what's on my shirt? I never give up. Hustle, loyalty, and respect. I ain't giving up. So let's get it going. 211 handicap. I don't care. Let's get it going at Fast Lane. Cool. Whatever. Of course, uh, Jimmy and Solo with Paul Heyman come out there. And, you know, Jimmy feeling good or whatnot. And it's like, hey, man, you know, I'm, I'm surprised you came out here. But who said you're going to make it to Fast Lane? When we done with you, you ain't going to make it to fast lane you should have stayed gone john pretty much so basically their objective was to take john cena out before they even get to the pay-per-view at fast lane so it, it's a two-on-one situation and they start brawling he's able to knock jimmy down off the apron and then there's a big little standoff between solo and john cena he throws off his shirt into the crowd and he's ready to go they start fighting he gets solo in the aa and of course like what happened last week you had the uh the super kick from jimmy and then they it's a two-on-one attack they're over here um pretty much uh running themselves into the corner with the like the hip attack or whatnot while john cena's laying in the corner he's just he's getting all around the beats so they roll him out to the outside they pull off the announcement table uh, announcement table covering they're about to send this man to the gulags just like aj uh jimmy's about to go to the top but sort of like nah let me do this he's about to take out john cena and all you hear is la night's music crowd goes crazy insane la night runs out there with the fresh tims on and proceeds to give jimmy and uh um well he gives jimmy the beats and he proceeds to give solo beats as well like he, he evens up the odds and then they toss him out the ring and he picks up the contract he signs his name on the contract. He gives it to John Cena. John Cena with this amazing acting. Oh my God, I can't believe you signed it. And now it is John Cena teaming up with LA Knight. Yeah, <laughs> against uh, the Bloodline in uh, Solo and Jimmy. I'm actually looking forward to this match. This is, it should be a good time. And uh, obviously it made sense for LA Knight to be involved with this he has had a little bit of run-ins with the bloodline but now he's really starting to get involved and i think this is going to be very interesting to see how this plays out crowd went crazy la night is super over and he's going to be tagging with john this should be very fun looking forward to this match 
at Fastlane. Definitely looking forward to it. It's going to be a great time. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what the, the main gist of the main storyline on, on SmackDown that happened uh, tonight. Um, I, I believe that was a spot that was supposed to potentially happen last week. But uh, last week, uh, we found out that uh, LA Knight ended up with COVID. So that spot that happened last week, I think it was supposed to now, the spot that happened tonight was supposed to happen last week, but it didn't. So we got it this week, and uh, now it's official. So uh, it would have been interesting to see what they would have did if he would, if if LA Knight would have been able to come out there last week. What they would have did this week, I'm not sure. Um, the probably continuation of the storyline potentially, but either way, we got what we wanted. LA Knight is in the mix, and I'm looking forward to this. That they're, they're slowly but surely pushing him up that ladder, bro. Uh, and eventually, at some point, he's going to get some type of main roster title opportunity, and it's going to be great. But right now, I like what they're doing with LA Knight. He's in a prominent feud, tagging with John Cena. Don't get no better than that. We shall see how things play out going forward. So comment down below. Let me know. Are you guys as, as, as interested as I am in this tag match between John Cena and uh uh teaming up with la knight versus solo and jimmy i personally am looking forward to it i want to see if you guys are just as excited as i am but i appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on channel go to 150 again i am still your speed of youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kidding me see y'all next one peace